Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships, and today we are looking at the high school fleet Harikaze. Yes, um, essentially this is the Kigero. I'm not going to dress it up. Um, it pretty much is the Kigero, just as a premium. Um, however, there is one odd thing about this boat. Um, well, in fact, there's three odd things about this boat. And they are the holes. Now you get three different holes on this boat, um, and because it's premium, it all comes unlocked. You don't have to grind for them. Uh, you get the 1-4 hole. Uh, let me just explain these numbers. These numbers are the episodes of High School Fleet that this boat is in. So episode 1 to 4, episode 4 to 10, and episode 11 to 12. Um, and basically what changes are the turrets now it, it's an interesting and novel approach I will give them that it's uh, certainly certainly a different uh, take on a premium uh, the 1 to 4 guns are basically Kagero guns you have 127 millimeter uh, twin turrets there three of and they do 2200 max AP, 1800 max HE, 7% fire chance um, and all of the turrets fire out to 9.4 kilometers. Now the 4-10 hole we'll look at these are basically Akizuki guns, 100mm twin turrets um, three of again doing 1700 max AP, 1200 max HE, 5% fire chance and uh, lastly we have my hull of choice which is this one three single mounted 127mm guns 2400 max AP, 1800 max HE, 9% fire chance now why these over the twin 127s you may ask it's the reload time these ones are only four seconds they are essentially American secondary guns um, and so the firing arc is pretty good whereas these uh, we'll whack them on have a seven second reload and the Japanese turret turn time of 30 seconds mm. the turret turn time on these 5.3 much quicker guns much much quicker guns so now that we've got that out the way let's have a look at the numbers shall we 13,300 hit points on there uh, armor wise it's a destroyer so you haven't got any uh, 2 by 4 torpedo launchers there so twin quad launchers um, 10 kilometer range 62 knot speed 17,233 maximum damage and they remain the same no matter what gun choice you take anti-air uh, the Akazuki guns do give you a better anti-air rating um, but yeah you're a destroyer you know you're not really an anti-air boat so you might take down a spotter um, maybe the odd bomber or fighter as they fly past but yeah don't don't rely on uh, this ship for anti-air um, you have four single mounted 25 mil guns giving you seven DPS at 3.1 kilometers and three single mounted 127s so your secondary dodge your, uh, your main battery even uh, the secondary guns there are dual purpose um, which is nice they give you 33 DPS at 5.2 kilometers so for a destroyer that's that's quite a reach you know your your close range anti-air is 3.1 so at least you can start firing at them before they're on top of you uh, maximum speed in this little beauty is 35.5 uh, turning circle of 640 and a rudder shift of 4 seconds and you can see here I haven't got any upgrades fitted other than the concealment system um, the reason for that is up there I'm a bit short on credits so 
concealment wise uh, the captain does come with uh, oh, 10 points uh, when you buy the boat um, and I've got uh, concealment expert there uh, Jack of uh, oh no what's it called last stand that's the one superintendent and uh, the standard preventive preventative even maintenance um, you could go for BFT AFT if you were looking to increase your range a little bit um, that'd be nice maybe get an extra 20% range on them would be good um, yeah, take you out over the uh, 10 kilometers, which would be nice. But uh, yeah, this is what we've got, and uh, it's not a bad little boat. But I'll, I'll be honest, I've been struggling to get decent gains in it. Um, yeah, I'm playing it a bit YOLO. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack some flags on because why wouldn't you? We'll get the speed flag. Uh, that takes us up to 37.3 knots which is lovely the don't blow me up flag then we'll get some credit flags because well I need the money <laughs> to put it bluntly um, might as well get the fire flags on there as well uh, and the reload yeah why not got one flag left what should we have uh, ooh, let's go for commander XP there we go um, Consumable wise, we will get the damage con 2 uh, or damage repair 2, I should say. Uh, we will go for smoke generator 2. Now, you can see here you could choose reload booster for your torpedoes if you wished, um, but I think smoke's too valuable to give up, to be honest. I'd rather be able to swap it for engine boost or something like that, but that's a different story. So, let's jump into a co op and let's see how we do. Uh, we are a tier 8 boat um, so you know it could be an interesting interesting lineup another unusual thing about this boat um, although it's a high school fleet Harakaze uh, you can use any of your Japanese captains in it so yeah, it actually comes with two captains when you uh, get the boat. You get the anime one and you get a normal captain. Um, it comes with two camouflages and uh, one is the anime one, one is a normal one. So, you know, you could use it just as a, a fairly normal uh, Kagero variant. Right, uh, we have a Shikaku, which is boo three destroyers a six seven eight game we are tier eight so we are top tier so let's see how we go uh be interesting to see what guns the other harakaze has got looks like they could be the same as these ones yeah okay interesting well i'm gonna go play around B, I think uh, I don't want to push too far forwards so we've got the uh, the old Harikaze there yeah, I'm pretty sure they are the single mount turrets hmm good choice because you can see how quick they uh, the guns rotate there they're really really fast so we have an Anshan uh, we have the two Harikazes as destroyers hmm okay Cleveland not fun York not fun Indianapolis eh, Indianapolis they're yeah, good guns on the Indianapolis but they don't fire particularly quickly uh, the old Admiral Hipster there and the Shikaku now the Shikaku is going to be the, the issue here uh, yeah here come the planes already so let's let's be nice and let's drop some smoke shall we well, we actually managed to uh, shoot a plane down there so I'm going to go at quarter speed uh, we are smoked up which is nice we should be able to drop some smoke well, 
York could have taken some smoke there if he wanted it, but apparently not. Okay. So, let's see if we can take on this Harakaze. Uh, which should be good. Uh, I could probably do with... There we go. We'll share our smoke with Mr. York. And of course, he can uh, help us out with a bit of anti-air there as well. Now, I'm looking at that Harakaze, and if I was him, I would probably be lining up for a top attack. But I don't know whether or not... I don't know whether or not the bots will actually launch torps. So, yeah, Unless they've actually got line of sight on you. So, need to get moving because... There we go. So he's down. We have got that York there. So we might as well get, get moving here. Uh, well, we could try the torps, couldn't we? Why wouldn't you, eh? Let's use our manoeuvrability. And we've got the, uh, the Cleveland there. I don't know how those torps are looking. No. They're not looking good. Nice, he's down. Okay. Now we do have that Cleveland coming around the corner there though. I don't know where he's intending to come out. Over here somewhere I feel. Uh, we are detected. And we have the other Harakaze over here. Uh, Not sure which guns this one's using, but but they're pointing at me, so we need to uh, keep firing at her, see if we can do her some damage. You see there, you get a nice constant rate of fire. Um, it'd be even better if you were actually hitting them random, but there we go. So that Harakaze is heading that way. Now it would be reasonable to think that he may well have dropped his torps. Um, so yeah, I've got 10 seconds on my torpedoes. And we're there, right, torp him. I'm gonna keep one spread of these torps. So what we'd love to do is actually to uh, get a fire, there we go. So he's damage conned and now he's down, right. Now we've got some fighters above us here, so that's interesting. Are they actually trying to spot us? I know it's difficult, difficult to say with the, uh, the bot mechanics. So, ooh, looks like uh, the enemy are all over that side. Uh, we've got the carrier, and uh, yeah, the carrier, uh, the Indianapolis, and an Anshan uh, still alive on the enemy team. Okay, looks like the Cleveland could be pushing for the carrier because I think the carrier is down here somewhere. So, it wouldn't be a complete waste of time for us to get this cap here while we're in this area. Might as well, it's all XP.
you know, the Indianapolis does have radar which is lovely uh, it's been recently buffed actually um, I'm not entirely sure of the range of it now but uh, it has been increased okay so it looks like their Indianapolis has just taken a bit of a shot there so okay we can say that we have now got B to go for yeah I don't see uh, don't see a lot of point in pushing oh, the Indies down looks like the hipster got him and the An Shan is coming in over here can we go and get the An Shan maybe yeah could be the way to go so we are not spotted uh, by anything at the moment uh, the An Shan now the An Shan does have the uh, the Russian guns on it so it's qu quite a good little boat you see the American arcs there um, you know firing grouping pretty good we've got a fire on her there we go she's down uh Shikaki's down there I mean I could I could go chasing after it I could do but I'm gonna get myself this B cap first I think for all of the points and then we'll head uh, southeast from here okay looks like the hipster put some torps out could have given me a message there mr Varga Stern but you didn't So, let's pick up this cap while we're here. Let's hit the old speed boost. Just to get us there a little bit quicker. So, we are heading the right way. 20 seconds left to pick this cap up. I may have to slow down just so... Uh, we do get it, 15, yeah, I'll knock it down to 3 quarters speed, 10 seconds left on the cap and the hipster is coming in, now I should get a solo cap for this surely yeah there we go, right, it's over here somewhere it's the Shikaku it looks like our Indianapolis may see him uh, so let's just have a look and see if we can see any explosions when his shells are shot let's have a look yeah there he is over there so we're heading that way now uh, they got him okay never mind that's fine uh, so let's have a quick look here we got 17,884 damage, 28 shell hits, 1 torp hit, 3 planes shot down, uh, 2 incapacitations, 2 ships sunk, 2 fires, 3 defence flags, uh, 1 capture, solo capture, 1 assist. Uh, we did the um, HSF Kaze, Harakaze mission which you get with the ship, uh, just gives you a bit of bonus XP. 248,993 credits which is lovely 2,657 XP and 266 free XP let's have a look at the team score oh look by one point we're at the top yay <laughs> detailed report there got the Harakaze got the Anshan um, got a bit of damage on that Harakaze and the York there and obviously the planes came from the Shikaku so and that's all good and let's have a look here so take home was 209196 which is lovely and captain xp 3037 good stuff so that is the high school fleet harakaze it's basically a kagero with different guns it's a lot of fun i like it i like destroyer gameplay um 
you've got a good window here with 5.4 uh, detection and 10 kilometer torps that's 4.6 window uh, from being able to shoot your torps and being detected so you can play this like a Japanese dis destroyer uh, but you've got the advantage of having fast firing decent turning guns so yeah it's a, it's a good blend of the Japanese and the American without being too over the top and having four or five turrets you've only got the three which kind of keeps your damage on par with the Kagero guns um, but obviously you can turn them which is a massive advantage so let me know your thoughts in the comments have you got this boat would you pick it up uh, hopefully it will still be on sale when this goes out um, if it isn't then I would hold on and wait and see if it comes out again because I'd actually recommend picking this one up it's a good little boat it's a good little boat well you know what I'll do if you enjoyed the video the old like buttons here give it a little tickle it does enjoy it uh, if you're new to the channel subscribe buttons there and if you'd like to be notified when I put a video up the little bell next to the uh, subscribe button give that a click and it will let you know when I put something out but that is quite enough for me for now so thank you ever so much for watching guys but for now it's Captain Random signing off take care and I'll see you again in the next one